to kill me, so I have to prepare here um, a template. I will share this template with you, and just here I will see today in, in Lanxys Arena, and the main issue <laughs> in software, there are a lot of engineers and developers here, but the main issue is the undo button. This is for me the key of the world. What's happening with the undo button? And the starting of this uh, app is that you have the minus. If you do a mistake, just to do it. So you have just to put go logo, positional attack, and positional attack here. Save and go uh, empty net go. And you have here all the, the calculations. It's automatic. So it's in Android, but this is for our own use. Why? Because we need software that uh, don't depend of an observation uh, of a holding or so on. So we are working with very basic tools. So we are working with this Android tool that we can replicate at any moment and with Excel. Oh, Excel. I remember it from many. Whenever I go to the board, Excel, okay. Let's go on. Okay? <laughs> we are in a basic step. We are showing a basic step. Your business, maybe, is to make this a uh, better way. I don't have any, any issue. I don't have to presume of anything. I'm not an engineer. I'm worried about data, but I'm not a specialist for that. Uh, let's go, we go at 11 to them. At 11 a.m., we will connect with uh, Raúl Pelay, that he was the head of knowledge of FC Barcelona. We have uh, a lot of fights uh, with him, so Pasqui told me a lot of times, don't believe everything, don't believe everything. The, the world is here in the beach. So this is the two worlds, the world of the real data, because uh, I said one day to Xavier Bastón, OK, I have done this with Raul Pelay. Very interesting. Let's go fight of the, how many positions do we have with the Paris Center? Oh, I think uh, 42. Do you think? No, it's not about think. It's about real. And uh, another colleague of the staff, Fernando Barbeto, just with a piece of paper and a pencil, is this. Assemble. 42. And Fernando had the core. So, reliability is a starting point. No Python, no Excel. Reliability. And the reliability uh, that day was in my almost health attack with the uh, comments. But the most important is the reliability that Fernando had in his notebook uh, with a piece of paper. So for that reason, the reliability is the key. We need the opportunity of this model, of Hammer Position Mode. It's very easy, it's very simple. Everyone uh, could do it and are real numbers. But what is the trick? The trick is that we are telling just the end of the history. In Hollywood, all the movies end with a kiss. And then they start to write the drama. Here is the same. Uh, you call me forensics, it's true. And now I'm, I'm trying uh, to go uh, a step uh, backwards of the forensics, of the autopsy, and to understand what happened. Because with this model, we tell just the final problems, what happened there. So, what we have built? A new model. Chains, final, a panel of chains. That we need to use expected methods. We use the, the basic idea is we use all time. So like the process now I'm looking for the ball. Uh, we use all time the same scale. So the scale are goals. And also efficiency percentage regarding total process. But the scale is goals. What is the issue? <laughs> Our respective methods. We have here the main, the major specialist in respective methods here at this moment in Hamburg, and I think for all of his life. He's now father, but I hope that we can we can reintroduce him in, in this. So now that his father he has less time, but more uh, brain concentration. That. So uh, the issue is that, that are expected methods. So thanks to Ferramino, we know that this is not the same expected value of our session. 
at the end of the match or the matches uh, in a closer score than the dog. But here in Germany, uh, it was a very interesting uh, work analyzing uh, flames group matches, the expected possession value that was developed by Barca and Kupo, Alvin Fernandez and Rotterdam, they developed an algorithm that is the expected possession value. And this model has been developed just in Hamburg here in Germany. Why? Because they, in the Bundesliga, they have uh, streaming data just with a delay of 15 seconds. So they have to track a very good system that 15 seconds after the, the play happens in the, on the pitch, they have the expected position value at any moment for the score goal. We don't have that uh, system. We are working with eventy, just with eventy, not with tracking. But we have a uh, built expected measure. So we decide how many goals do you deserve? Did you de de deserve in that match? Regarding different aspects of the game, so we will see the four steps. We have defined four steps in Hamburg. And how many goals do you deserve? Because sometimes you say, in the press conference, yes, yes. Uh, I remember Fernando, one, one time he played with Pedro Ferila, he made it against uh, uh, La Rioja, and he said, if Juanin Garcia don't play in, in La Rioja today, we win this match, okay? We have. This is expected method. The, the party thing is not criticizing both. I was a bad coach before. But the, the, the coach is under. I don't believe on that. No, not you, it's not your case. <laughs> and then, in the press conference, yes, yes! Um, if, uh, if this player pull, hey, this is expected. If the goalkeeper was the same in both teams, this is expected. You tell that you don't believe on expected metrics and you understand, but when you are argumenting, arguing out how you are using uh, expected uh, uh, arguments. So, the trick is expected. Your model will be better than myself. We have discussed, but at the end, we have the prime score, the R square, so we have variability. Uh, so, the Spanish corner will be there. It's like the brother, they are in Germany. So, okay, this was the, the classic. You can see here, uh, this is the. Oh, there. Well, you prefer, but you can see. So this is the classic model. This is the model that we developed with uh, Pasquin, with Saber Pascual, and 90% of the ideas here are directly from Saber Pascual, and the other 10% are ideas, ideas uh, stolen to, to Saber Pascual. So this is uh, the design. So we have this match. It was the final of the Fiesta Cup in Spain, Malaga against Remudas. Okay, this is the score. All all people uh, goes to this. This was the attack efficiency. Okay, of the total possessions, goals. Okay, we have this on the national teams competitions, but the pity is that today, when the match of Kiel Sebastian finishes, I don't have any free or um, premium service to know this at the end of the match. I have the speed, the velocity, the number of jumps, but this, that is the key, I don't have it. Why? 2022, why? So I will attack with my root uh, angle. Then it's easy to calculate. Defense is a mirror. From here, okay. And now start the difficult. That this was the, the competitive advantage that you use uh, the last year. This when it's position attack and when it's contra attack. It's called the third wave of contra attack when the contra attack stops. This is just for a seminar. We, we don't focus now on this, but position attack and contra attack. And contra attack is the standard version of contra attack, not just the contra attack, but with the standard. So, we have this, and these are real things, but tell you the final. So now, is interesting. We have another model. And this was the same match, 29-25. The score, okay, 29-24. And this is the same scale of goals. These are goals that you deserve. So the third, the three starting uh, steps change are 
Change to go. This is the most far away basis of possession, possession value. So Malaga deserves 32 goals, basic on the quality of the possession. So more contracts, more chances to score goals, more playing via the pivot, more chances than if you uh, shoot from 10 meters. There are coefficients that introduce. So the match, the, the competitive advantage that you obtain, one of the competitive advantage that you obtain is that you boost this to 38, 39 goals. Then, if you have a bad match for 39, you drop to 35, okay? Like Malaga here. They drop three goals. So, we have here the styles of the teams. When Barga uh, won uh, uh, in, the, in the league of Mac uh, Macedonia, North Macedonia, normally they can drop until uh, 10 goals here because they have so many superiority in the Macedonian, North Macedonian league that they can drop here. So, just based on the style they have here. And now is the second step. Okay, you put this style of play, building it. So, based on contract, like, based on the intention to be the people, you have this. And the rival, 31. But, second step, what happened with goals deserving? After take the two long effect. Okay, now we count just the possessions that pinches with a shot. We are taking a part of the model, the two longs. So this is in football, in ice hockey, we are in a very ice hockey city also. Spending balls, balls in in ice hockey, and then we're taking into football. Okay, it will be exclusive in 2003, in 2006, and so on. But okay, this is the expected goal that is used also by Julian Brooks. That Julian Brooks is making a very good uh, job uh, here. It's okay, and here is by possession value, Malaga deserves this could be exclusive, they could be including the algorithms. We can show the R square, the row, ROC cube of relativity. But based on the possession of the risk benefit, Malaga deserves to win, but just by one goal. They need uh, five goals because what's the second leg of the final? And they lose by four, uh, four goals in the first leg in Canada, Canada. But if you go to the second goal, Remudas, Canary, Canary deserves to, to win. So here we start to see the details of the match, because sometimes we say in the press conference, we deserve to win in which step of the ball. This is. Then we go to the expected goal on target. What happened? I know, I remember Mateo Barralda. Mateo Barralda, when we analyzed all matches from him as player, as player, Mateo, no as coach, as player, he was able uh, by big frogs to convert into seven meters, into penalties, situations that other players were not able to do. So, to be able to convert into seven meters for wins for big frogs, uh, uh, provides you the expected goal on target. Expected goal on target is expected goal, but just off on target. What happens? That the, the missing shot, the block shots, the offensive rebounds, the central meters of time, at the end, this is more close to reality. So, this is 70% I squared. So, this explains what happened in the match in a 70%. This is 80% of the reality of explaining uh, spread, and this is 90%. 70, 80, 90. So, more closer in the funnels, in the change, what really happened at the end. What uh, happened here? That they keep Malaga keep 28 goals deserving, but we see a drop in Remudas. Okay, uh, a lot will be discussed here about referee style. So normally the referee style is in this uh, chain. Not because referees are fair or not, or corrupted or not. They are not corrupt. They are fair. It's not because of that. 
is because the style. So we know that Balkanic referees um, whistle uh, seven meters different than uh, Scandinavian referees. It's the style, and sometimes this is considered in the in the match. Okay, but is how do you convert the expected goal and the expected goal on time? So yeah, and there is the difference of hammer with other sports. So football is the sport where the favorite win less times, just 55 uh, of the times. Uh, reference is from Chris Anderson, the numbers game, uh, the book uh, that is translated into uh, 14 uh, languages, but not Spanish. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we see here the influence of hockey. Or the dual goalkeeper shooter, because sometimes we say, if my if the rival goalkeeper saves, it's a good goalkeeper. But sometimes in the final we say we are not select, we are not choosing, we are not selecting good the, the shoot, okay? It's a blend, it's a mix. I remember yesterday in the Real Pena in the non-stop of home humble twitch of 54 hours, the Real says, when I'm training against uh, Catherine Luther, I have to be very focused and concentrated to score a goal to Catherine on the trainings, in the training session. So this is the relation between not just the goalkeeper, between goalkeepers, and we will see a new metric regarding that. So in about if the, we are able to put bigger the quality of the rival goalkeeper or to put the small, we will see that. But here what happens? This green arrow is that Malaga deserves to score 28 goals, but because bad performance of goalkeepers from removals, they score one more goal, one more goal, 29, that they will decide. Okay, could be bad performance of goalkeeper or could be good selection in the duel between goalkeepers. So this is a conceptual jump, not just to consider the quality of goalkeeper, but the dual goalkeeper should be And the opposite from Remudas. Remudas, they decide to score, to score by expected goal by 26 goals, but they score just 25. So, Malaga goalkeepers provide one goal, they receive one goal less, it was a good goalkeeper performance for Malaga, and the opposite for Remudas. So, what is our proposal? What we will do uh, during this uh, final four in Colón? To link, to blend the classic mode and this spectrum. Why? Because this has been developed and is working in ice hockey, in football, in, in basketball. Our aim is not to say this is the dogma and you have to, to use this argument. No is to propose to start to use expected metrics because you can link these two coaching process, to training process. What is the issue? The issue here normally is to sign and to pay money for a goalkeeper. This is the training process here, normally. Okay, you can do something regarding the duel with the shop, but it's more related to linking with payroll and money than the other things, or with the sponsor, look for a sponsor. But if you go through this, training process and you can identify your exercises if, if they are focusing on position value on expected goal to the goal target. This is the only thing that I will talk about my other sport that I work in athletic group of football. Okay. This is in 2017 this was received with FPVs uh, but now it's spread even for traditional goals. Okay, my proposal is not to look for a dogma, my album, or my formula. It's to propose you to introduce a specific goal, a specific goal of target that is used. Uh, I remember you have a model in Beach Harbor also. Sorry for my pronunciation of Beach, is creating a lot of uh, confusion, not normal. <laughs> so, this is the place model. Uh, but Humboldt is moving, Humboldt is changing. Like Sergio Palaccio from Italy explained, it's the opposite process that in, in basketball, in basketball, because the three line points, they are 
from me for, for a way. I'm very worried because Rolando Rios yesterday in the Twitch said that he proposed to put uh, two goals in Hamburg, not Twitch Hamburg, in Hamburg, if the goalkeeper scores. For my other it will be like two years of work <laughs> if, they, if this happens. So I will do lobby for keep one goal by one point by, by goal. But this is the classic model. 51 possession. But what happened this decision? The pace in Hamburg has been uh, upgraded, has been increasing. And let's we'll see how. So this is the classic scheme, but the efficiency of 51% has been improved. So, in men's handball, the attack efficiency is increasing each year, and in women's handball, it's decreasing this year. I remember the uh, polemic here in Germany with Dietrich Spat, sorry for my pronunciation, for IHF, Dietrich Spat. <laughs> because at the end of the women's uh, World Handball, the country in Spain he said that this could a good news for Hamburg because the efficiency is increasing. And a lot of polemics uh, regarding that. So my my thought is at least we need to monitor, to screen, to control. And in many handball is increasing each national team in the uh, championship, each champion. But why? First, because frequency of contract, we were in 12 before uh, Baski start to set up uh, the, the model uh, accelerating the pace, and now we are in the global handle with 15 contra-attacks ended by March. Not starting, ended, with goal or not goal. But now from 12, we are in 15. The quality of contra attack has been increased, we will see, it's more than 61, but this is the place. And this was the main surprise, not just from the right. The efficiency of positional attacks has been increasing also. So, as we see. And this is how long shot, or, um, free throw, via pivot, via wing, and so on. So, we have here the last scale of this championship season. Thanks, Aníbal. Thanks, Jordi, for 3, 3 a.m. Uh, was a message he's analyzing there, uh, you also. And this is the greatest model, the most of the right you are, the more of the right you are, the better attack you have, general attack, the more at the top you are, the best defense you have. What happened? FC Barcelona had worse metrics than defense with the season of Xavier Pascual. But because Hamburg is decreasing, decreasing the general level of defense, they keep the first position. This is the curious. In the same case with Jordi Rivera in the Spanish National League. Spain has each year worse um, defending metrics, but keep the first position. Why? Because the drop of the Spanish National League is lower than the drop of the other. The same has happened with uh, Barça. So, but this year the defense of Barça has been worse than last year, but keep the first position. So. This app, this is the key. This green line, you will receive the slide, you can take pictures, you can even do memes with my head, if you prefer. But this is the key, the green row. These are, I, I like a weather presenter. So, so I'm trying to put here. Yeah. This row is the interest. So first of all, Pace, average pace, 53.5, uh, and then this is the frequency of positional attack, contra attack of the teams, frequency. If you see all this, is 100. It's an idea from Basti, but I have to say that he has the idea in Andalusia. It's just to put a bit in Andalusia <laughs> with sign. And we say this, this is the average value. It was 38.12. After three years of your setup, of your implementation to accelerate the pace, has had an impact in the global game. Okay, this could be discussive, but uh, we have this effect 2% for the global to change the game. And then we can see in each team. So, for instance, best frame is 31 19, so 19 
of the 100 possession of the of matches of Vespre are contracts from Vespre and 14 are contracts of rivals of Vespre. What is the idea to have a lot of frequency of contract and to have few frequency from the rival? So what was the lower value we have seen here? Teams with 12. Barça, Albor, PSG receive few contracts. Here, Albor, less than 12. The idea is to have a lot of contracts and to receive few. But this is theory. Then you need to go to the efficiency. So the efficiency, remember, that was 61%. And now, after <coughs> your implementation, now is almost 64 during this season. Immense number. So it's increasing. But also, this is the main positional attack. This uh, 53% and it was 49. This, this is a psychological frontier, psychological barrier, that is the 50%. So positional attacks for 40 years in Hamburg, in Mens Hamburg, in the main uh, tournament was below 50%, below, below one, and now it's clearly there. So you can see that uh, most of the teams at the top are above 50%. It's like a mandatory rule. If you need to stay at the top of the playoffs, you need to obtain more than 50%. Okay, we have the exception of Porto, but they are close. But this is a, a big change, not just for contract. We are not talking just about uh, accelerating the pace. We are talking also about quality on, on the positional attack. Let's we see what happened without the pressing, without the, the gun, the pressing is in English, the pressing, resign, the resign to the, the, you know the changes, you know that now the ball in the matches without resign will be two centimeters uh, smaller. We remember what happened in women's handball with this happened in 1999. So the speed of the world was accelerated, the attacking uh, in the okay. We will focus on that, what happened with the views. Okay, but now this has increased a lot. And we have here the other. And and this is the metric that we will explain here. That is interesting. Uh, this is the same percentage. And in 2012 was 30% the normal efficiency of coaches. And we have seen, and this is uh, similar to the data from Gallego and so on, that now is very stable. The sales percentage in Humboldt, in modern Humboldt, is 28%. 28% 10 years ago was a weakness. Now it's normal. Now we move between. Uh, 27, 29. This is the normal value. This is very important to evaluate goalkeepers. But now, this is the new metric. This is the new metric. Uh, with Aníbal, we talk a lot, of, a lot of this. And this is very interesting for Kilche and for Barca. This metric. So, this is the famous shot selection. Uh, there is a, you know, the, the QOs in Spanish, the plan that is Santa Barbara. You remember Santa Barbara just with his brain uh, thunder? We remember, we, we can call Santa Barbara like the Spanish uh, uh, American TV series, Santa Barbara uh, Messi. That is, we just remember this when we lose in the press conference or playing in the wrong room to the press. This is the mirror, thanks for the idea, mirror, Javier, the mirror of safe percentage. This is I say I kill. I say 28%. Okay, we can discuss about the landing all star also. It's not uh, between the first uh, five. We can discuss about that. How is all star? Okay, it's another day, another seminar. I think it's better than uh, the Olympic Games 2016. So yeah, he was. Uh, 
they are ten max ten of one load without the load three percent of the It's like it's like you know like the one hundred percent set. But for that reason, I said we can discuss about that. That is interesting. But this is the opposite. So <coughs> how the rival goalkeepers <coughs> saves you. So if you have an on target efficiency of seventy three point five percent. What was the value of the goalkeepers that play a nice skill? Do you know what this? So, if I have 73, 5, this means on one target, this means that the rival goalkeepers of King, what is the sales percentage? Well, I can see. Si para el 73,5%, si, si de una eficiencia mira por el 73,5%, ¿cuánto para nosotros arriba? ¿Cómo lo hacemos? 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. This is the value of the rival goalkeeper. This is an idea, also from Sayo Pascual. How do we say and how do they say the rival goalkeepers? But, if we put this like rival sex, okay, you can list the quality of the represent, you can do anything regarding that. But you go then to the press uh, speech, uh, our short selection, I use it a lot, like access, uh, there's no right. So, uh, we can work about short selection a bit. We can do a bit. Why? Because we can detect difference and if, if this difference is stable we can go through so of the four teams you can see that FC Barcelona had an issue here this season of the four teams is the team with worse uh, short selection why because what is the uh, sales average of the uh, rival goalkeepers that play as FC Barcelona with this, what is it? Eva? Seventy-two. Twenty-eight. And twenty-eight is the normal value. So FC Barcelona is neutral against rival goalkeepers. And normally you expect when you are in the final four that you put a smaller to the rival goalkeepers. And you put them normal. This is not weighted sales, this is just a uh, no, I said we need to consider the weight, but we will see that. But of the four teams that has a right to final four, is the worst. And Kilche is the opposite. If you see Kilche, it's not the best. This grid is not the uh, darkest grid. They, they have no uh, Kilche, they have no reds. It's balanced, it's not the best, but. Kilche of the four teams that have a right to the final four, Kilche have the best shot selection. Why? Because the goalkeepers that play against um, against Kilche just uh, say 25.8. I know you are thinking, yeah, but you, you need to take in account uh, the counter attack. You need to take in account. Thank you for the information. We have to produce this, but if you need to do that, you need to go to Spain and to, uh, to stay uh, 12 hours by day to know that. But we have to consider that because you can see the level of contract, we have test, and this is a simple model. So we have analyzed that deeper, but summary, and I have explained this in one of Humble Beach, and curiously, Rolando Rios, that was speaking better than me, without data, he speaks about that. Uh, uh, about Kilch. And suddenly Jimmy, the journalist of Common Humble, said, okay, Rolando Rios has said the, the same. So, of the four uh, semifinalists, Kilch had the best shot selection and put uh, smaller the goalkeepers, the rival goalkeepers, and FC Barcelona, the opposite. Uh, regarding um, one thing, uh, said about the percentage of to fight your leader. Yes, um, For example, uh, if the goalkeeper precise when you shoot out, you put in the percentage of the goalkeeper? If I goalkeeper? Yes. You don't say the ball, but the ball is out. Okay. 
this is not considered the model. We can yeah. test the, the, the character. Because if you play a static, I don't want to put an angle. Yeah. This is interesting. Why? Because we need to, to translate this into metrics. So, what is the mistake that I consider that the Spanish handball has made on the official uh, For instance, I remember a Sobat when the shoot was to a post, they put directly safe from a goalkeeper. Okay, it's good that you uh, will pay merit to the goalkeeper, but not like. Put the reality of what happened and then create an algorithm and a formula. So, we are using that in, in, in football yet. That is, the, is this value. When you say, when you say is this, and now models like stats form in football, they consider the shots that are not on target, but you are uh, dissuasive. Dissuasive? You are dissuasive because your position on your side, even the only data that we have in football since the 100 years ago is the efficiency saving uh, penalties. And what's very surprising for me, because I have also the height of the data of all the football goalkeepers since 100 years ago. So in penalties in football, the bigger you are, just because you are two meters, hey, the more chances you have that the rival shoots uh, a miss shot. Okay. Okay, but let's we tell the truth, let's we talk what happened, don't do uh, make tricks like Asoval from many years telling that a post has said, and then create a model of a spectacle target split it by Swazi on real. This in a stats form, it, this metric is claims. Okay, yeah, sorry. There are a lot uh, a lot of brains uh, here. You can do a lot of claims, but we can do in Hamburg to say if it will be, will be, will be, no? Let's go with it. I tell you what I know. And then develop. I, I'm looking for growing, not for money. If you can do it, and you can, and you can make it. So, just and now uh, we pass with you uh, before Raúl attended. So, the starting point, we can talk a lot. And we need to, to arrive to what Xavier Pascual said. That is, for instance, the claims made that we have in football and in ice hockey yet to put in hand. So, Sterling, and, and they have the claims, not, not just in football, like you say, intimidation. Okay, intimidation is claim. And sometimes say, no, because you uh, say, coaches to me. You can five years ago in football. You can you cannot measure the division five years after. I said no. Can you tell me that the intermediation on uh, metric? Okay, yes, we can do it, but you don't believe it, no? Okay, but we go for it. In Hamburg we can do the same. And in the respectable of target that uh, you make uh, right. so in, but the first the starting point is the possession, to know the number of possessions. So say 60% of efficiency are better in this place. To define sequences of processing. In the definition of uh, international handball federation that was developed by the uh, sorry for my position, the uh, is part. Did you say part? The Yeah, Yeah, is part. So we end up from So uh, to differentiate sequences and processions. We're talking about processing. So, this is the, please, this is a lot, uh, please, this is the key pillar. At what match, the maximum difference between two things, if the match takes 60 minutes, is one. So if I have 60 possession, you can have, the other thing can have 60, 61, or 59. If you pay a lot, let's say, what? To show his time to any company and says that one team does 60 possessions, is a match of 60 minutes, and the other has 57, it's not useful. It's not the truth. It's, it's the basic pillar. We need that. We need that. So we can talk a lot about algorithms, about everything, but if we don't have the basic DNA, uh, we are making mistakes. So I will put you now. Your, the model from Jordi. Uh, I have 
Michael Brzezkin, uh, his uh, engineer, he worked for uh, top companies and he has knowledge also in, in other sports. So he could uh, provide now a uh, approach more uh, oriented to architecture and how to think and how to learn. So the, the progress shows. Uh, you, you can go to what? What are you Thank you, Antonio. Uh, I would say at first that my model is close to the position model, but it's not the expected to be a position model because there are some differences. I try to, to pick one one event for other. Obviously, if there is a rebound, I have two events that that's a little bit different between each position model and what they are doing. In my case, uh, I want to explain how, how to integrate all this data uh, to think about it and decision making and, and how I'm working on this one that I learn in Spain. Okay? Then I started with this with a, with a time forest around the pandemia. Uh, and I did the, the noise for 21, it's on the decision before the 1920. Uh, then I arrived to, to to find the conclusions that they're not the only one that arrived at the conclusion and some of these rooms are already before. Uh, the vision that you see here in the position of ARTAC uh, is a 44.9% because the ARTAC upgrades to a, uh, around 65% and the other goal around uh, 50%. But the surprising topic here is the shooting efficiency. In the other goal, and in Schmutter Attack, it's so much bigger than the uh, position of data. That's the, the basic of, of my approach to start working with data and say to the student who says, okay, hey, uh, why we don't explode this on next video? Okay, then uh, this is the, the kind of, of what I do. Uh, I work, obviously, one. one one week before the, the sorry, one week, uh, two weeks before playing against uh, an opponent, uh, an opponent, collecting uh, minimum for four matches, attacking and the time is done. Okay, only view the videos and target. The second point, I am taking all the data, building the uh, insights, taking the record for the for the concept and send it on Sunday before the uh, playing against this is easy. Then it takes all this time to clarify and, and do the training series uh, to, uh, to plan uh, and, and do a, a plan, uh, plan of game against this, this opponent and doing the three uh, seasons of training uh, into this is exercising in the game plan. Okay. For them, obviously, uh, including financial difference, uh, looking the how it is going and the game works, but I have communication directly with the with the coaches and about trainings. Uh, they they explain that it works, this not works. The team uh, will not respond correctly to this. We are going to focus on the game planning with these KPIs to work on the game. And the final step is the game day, where I take uh, with two people for a company. Uh, I have a, a colleague that sent me for to collect open and data. I have a real time uh, dashboard that I will show you in the next uh, slide. And at the half time, a fast training conversation, we talk to the coaches and see, okay, that works fine, this is it working and going faster to, to, to improve a little uh, the performance of the second half, or okay, the game plan is not working, we need to change uh, all what we plan and look for a, for a different strategy. Okay, this is a kind of type of type in real time. That's uh, the opponent attacking uh, APIs. In case of, of our uh, own team in attack, I have here added a uh, use of uh, for now to increase the people uh, using uh, more. This um, 
in the Philippines here. I take this record because it's of foreign uh, assets only. It's a team of third uh, uh, third level competition, but normally it's uh, classified around the position of the middle of the league. This year, uh, our class takes the second position of the league and can uh, play the, the uh, and to ascend to the next category. Here, the interesting thing is here. The distribution phase we see in blue, uh, green, and yellow transition phase. They explode a lot running. Absolutely amazing. And obviously, uh, around 50% of attacks running, uh, they operate from normally in position to the second one. Mm. When we know it, we see this, it's okay. This week, we are not going to work focus on attack, try to lose the most possible, but run, run to the back, because he will run everything from the lab goal <coughs> and everything. Mm. First game against him, we will win.